over the wonderful magical sabbat known as Beltane or Bealtaine. It's a beautiful day, also known as May Day, and it takes hold on May 1st in the Northern Hemisphere. This day is a celebration of the fire within us, its fertility rituals, its abundance, its new growth, and in nature we will see everything around is happening and it's also, also happening within us. So in nature on May Day you'll notice a lot of things come into bloom and you'll notice a lot of the greenery on the trees starts to manifest itself. So Bealtaine marks the halfway point between the spring equinox and the summer solstice. It's usually held on May 1st, which is also why it's referred to as May Day. Celebrating this time of warmth and sun and new growth is a really popular time to also celebrate rituals with bonfires, May Day pole dances, and any fertility rituals. The significance in many of these fire rituals holds to the passion and drive we have within ourselves. It holds qualities of the sun and helps us to manifest illumination, new life, and abundance into our own life. Meditations on rejuvenation and purification are really important during this time as well. It's said that in ancient times, farmers would use this time of fertility to drive their cattle between two big bonfires and this was during the time of Bealtaine so that they could also embark on this fertile growth for their cattle. The fires acted as a blessing for purification and safety as they moved their herd into the fields. If you notice too, bonfires help bring people together. If you have a bonfire happening, it usually brings all walks of life together regardless of their background. This beautiful energy ties together the importance and power of unity and oneness. So with conjuring the energy of community and new growth, many new and young couples would like to take and jump over a bonfire to bless them with fertility in the year to come as well as safety and protection in their marital life. By jumping over the flames of the bonfire it was as if they were passing through a gateway that was offering them some new blessings into their reality. Fire is also known to awaken that kundalini energy and the passion within us so using the fire as a ritual to enhance that energy is really a powerful way to enhance the energy of fertility, especially if that is what you're aiming for in the spring energy. Also often used as a symbol for Beltane or Beltane is the green man. And this is depicted as a man made of leaves or nature and has horns. This symbol unifies the balance between man and nature. It's the sacred blessing that we own in this lifetime that the green man represents and teaches and reminds us that we are not only made of nature, but we will one day return to nature as well. This beautiful symbol reminds us to live life to the fullest and take nothing for granted. Laugh and dance as much as possible. It's a simple yet powerful message which we tend to forget in our busy lives. We must always celebrate all the beauty around us. There's so much beauty even in the most simple of things. Speaking of laughter and dance, maypole dances are a really beautiful way to celebrate this time. Maypoles are as if they were an erection coming from earth and everyone dancing around it. The ribbons streaming off the pole, everyone dances and they create one long shaft erecting from the earth. And this is again tied to the energy of fertility because all around us in nature you will see new growth, you will see the buds forming on the trees and the bushes outside, and you will see so many beautiful new life growing in the form of flowers and blossoms. And it is such a powerful time to do any manifestation magic as well. During the Sabbat, earth energies are at their strongest. And funny enough, Earth Day is very, very close to this season. So it's a very powerful time to take back your root energy, ground your energy, plant your feet in bare soil, reconnect with the Earth as much as possible. This could be in the form of nature walks or hikes, or laying near a river or stream, or just sitting in a garden, or frolicking in the woods. Anything to reconnect your energy to nature. Something you can also do if you live in an area where you don't have nature so abundantly around you is plant some plants, some potted soil. Working with the soil, working with the plants brings a whole new energy of abundance and life to you. And now when you have plants, you have to take care of them. So every day you're bringing that awareness back to nature and how it's helping you and how you're helping it. And together you're creating a unity. 
The turning of the wheel for the seasons always brings something new and this turning of the wheel brings abundant conception. It brings new things into your life. It's a time of something sparking within you and around you. There's a whole new scenery that starts showing itself. And this can be true with the magic that you're casting. Whatever you're putting back out into the universe is going to manifest so much more rapidly right now because it's not a time of rest. It's a time of creating energy and creating anything that comes to mind. It's creating your hobbies and your crafts. And it's really important to create any kind of life. So whether it is you creating through many forms of art or creating by getting out there and moving your body and creating motion, it's very important to use this energy because it only comes once a year. So you want to really harness it. It's really a powerful time. We work with the color green a lot because everything's bursting with new life and growth on the trees and the bushes and so that color energy vibration is tied to our heart chakra so this is also a time to love and love unconditionally love yourself love the ones around you just give so much loving energy heal your heart chakra if you feel your heart chakra is not very active and healthy right now then make sure you're making time to get grounded planting your toes into the soil or working with soil as much as you can. So finding that balance of abundant energy and also grounding it and use, using and learning how to channel the energy properly so that you manifest the things you're actually trying to manifest and not the things you don't want to manifest. So be very, very, very aware of your thoughts right now, how you're speaking to yourself, how you're thinking to yourself and the things you're projecting and acting out into the world because they do matter and they matter even more right now because of the energy that's in the air because it's so abundant right now. It's so new. It's basically you being able to pull in energy and create something that you want out of it. So remember those key words going into the Sabbath, going into Beltane or Beltany. It's a beautiful time to just flourish, just like the trees do, just like the plants around you, just like flowers that grow. Be that, be that flower, blossom. It is time to blossom. It's time to come up of your winter hibernation mode and just go full spring mode. Uh, so I hope this video helps you a bit on the wonders and the magic of this magical, magical time. And definitely carry into it do something fun with your family make it kid friendly if you need to if you have little ones or do a solitary ritual if you need to solitary work is really good especially if you can go to the woods or any kind of nature reserve area it's a really powerful time to be in nature and you can bring that energy into your life and just blossom so i love you all so much Happy Blessed May Day and Beltany and Beltane. Uh, however you like to pronounce it, it is up to you. It's up to your discretion, whatever feels right. And I love you so much. Have a beautiful and blessed week. Bye.